All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Direwolf 21.16. Guys, today we are going to be revamping our power system here. Yes, as you can see, we have the basic power reactors. These guys produce quite a bit of power, producing 6,000 FE per tick. That one's only doing 400... Oh, generating 6.2, sorry. <laughs> I was looking at the one above it. Yeah, so down below it's 6K. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and upgrade these guys today to our next tier. And then we're also going... Oh, hello there. We are going to upgrade the power system as well. Using Flux Networks. So we're going to need to go ahead and make quite a few of these guys. Um, yeah, so the reason why we went ahead and made the mob farm last episode is to kind of get some more ender pearls automated for us. Though it did have an unseen side effect that you guys probably saw more than I did. But we have a lot of armor and stuff that we need to go through. Now, the cool thing is a lot of these have some pretty good enchantments on them. Uh, so we can go ahead and, and pull those off and put them on the books or something. Uh, but we'll kind of have to do that in a little bit because, yeah, um, there's a lot. And we're not doing that today. So, <clears throat> anywho, we need to go ahead and get some obsidian automated that's our first goal and i think we're going to be using the blast chiller from thermal series so we do need to go ahead and make some invar from that as well but other than that it should be super duper easy um invar is just nickel and iron smelted together is there a fast way to do this induction smelter okay that needs invar as well all right, we got Invar made up. Cool. <laughs> I didn't realize how easy that was going to be, guys. All right, so let's go ahead here. We'll get a couple of these made up. We actually don't need the induction smelter. I lied. I didn't realize we could do that. Uh, tin gear, no problemo. Uh, ice, something we're going to need. All right, I think I need to do a little bit of enchanting to go ahead and get some silk touch on a pickaxe. Um... Unless we have one with it already on, probably not. We're going to get a lot of Soulbound books, though, which is going to be nice. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make up some pickaxes, and then I'll enchant them, and then we'll be back once we get a good enchant. There we go. That's exactly what we needed. Just got a, a guy here looking for unbreaking three, maybe. Ooh, fortune. Going to keep that. All right. So let's see here. These are good guys. Yes, let's break these up. All right, so we got enough ice here to go ahead and make the two packed ice that we need. Uh, so we should, yep, there we go. Blast chiller. All right, let's get this uh, basic pipe here from Mechanism. And then we're just going to go ahead and place this down like so. Oh, I'm glad, glad I noticed that because we need to go ahead and make a pump. We need to turn our nether one into a... Pump. Do we have a, a pump guy here? <gasps> we do. It's a clearing one, though. Let's switch it over to a dirt one because that'll help us with the lag. Okay. What about an ender tank? Okay. And this is why we are making an obsidian generator. All right, so we got both of the inner tanks made up. Um, so let's go ahead and make our way over to the nether. 
Where are we at? There we are. So it's actually going to be a very similar setup to what we've already got, which is going to be sweet. All right. I'm going to break this guy. I'm going to go like this. Should give it a bunch of power. Oh, it mined its own thing. All right, so this is gonna go here. This is gonna go here. Let's do max limit. All right, that's in. funny we need to make one more of these in order to fix another one um, yeah here we go all right perfect that's linked up now so we can hit slash back and that will take us right into the nether where we can put this guy here, link it up, set all sides to out, put this here. Tell it to get this far departed. That's weird, it's like glitching out. Okay, so I did find some lava. What if we go here? Turn off fast runner. Yeah, so that's what breaks it slash fixes it. Um, you know what? Let's take this shape card. We're gonna make a custom barrier. All right, we got bedrock here. We're gonna click the first corner. All right, and start it. And it's gonna take it a little bit of time, but soon it's gonna be pumping out a heck ton of lava. Okay, so with that taken care of, if we go like this, and we go like this, as you can, yep, it's starting to hit the lava already, perfect. Okay, so, yep, look at that, there we go. Already getting, already getting some stuff, perfect. So if we go like this, that we do unfortunately need to make one more of these guys. Don't worry, we're gonna get rid of the dimensional cells. I promise, guys. All right, so let's place this guy here, out on all sides. There we go. And this is really slow, holy heck. This should make us obsidian though means we can just set it and forget it. Yes. Oh, so good. Perfect. Okay, so we need some augments. Maybe they're not called that. Wait. Let's check this out. So we're going to make a hardened thingamadoohickey here. Yep, that that worked. Perfect. Okay. So, let's see here. This requires electrum. And that's how you make electrum. Let's make a bit of it. Okay. And then it needs another guy here. Let's just go ahead and make up a bunch of these guys. Perfect. Signalum, how do we make that? Like this. All right, we made four. 
It means we're doing it, or does this mean we're doing more at a time? Nope, still only doing it one at a time. And then we need endurium. Oh, we also need lumium. Just like that. All right, hardened glass. We need a little bit more obsidian, which is cool because we're making it. All right, and then endurium. What is that little thing? Is that diamond dust? I'll just take some diamonds and throw it into a grinder. Or a crusher. All right, so with a stack of diamond dust, boo, are we out of lead? Hmm. We need to work on getting this automated. Oop, that's a crushing factor. We need the enriching factory, right? Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm thinking here, I've been kind of working on a design. I think this is where we're going to put, like, our automatic smelters and stuff like that. Uh, so when we need a recipe that, say, needs glass, we can have one that grinds up uh, cobblestone into gravel, gravel into sand, and then we'll smelt the sand. We'll have, like, our smelters here, our crushers here. I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I think it'll be pretty neato, if you ask me. So we're going to give that a try. And then this should be our automatic smelting. Yep. All right, and so what I'm going to do here with this is we are going to get lead added in right there. We'll come here, put that on. Perfect. Now we can start to export the lead. All right, there we go. We got lead. Should start. Yep, lead's getting enriched. Perfect. It's great to see. All right, endurium, perfect. Let's go ahead here. We need to make the lumium gears. And bam, perfect. We got the, this guy. Bam. I think that's what we want for some more speed, the flux linkage amplifier. I'm not too sure. We're going to go ahead and just try it out. Oh, there goes all our electrum. Oh, well. All right, let's see. What is this from? Thermal series. Yeah, that's definitely faster. And then we can just pump this out directly into like a drawer or something. So let's now let's go to Flux Networks. Now we can really get into the meat and potatoes. <sighs> Okay. So what we need to do is grab a bunch of redstone, grab some obsidian here, and head down to our quarry-ish area and have a good time. All right, so we're down here at Bedrock. What we're going to go ahead and do is, first of all, disable my vacuum or magnet. I'm going to do this, and I believe, yep, you just click it, and then you get Fluix Dust. Cool. Actually, if we hit, nope, can't do it anymore. All right, so now that we have all of this, or sorry, Flux Dust, not Fluix. This isn't immersive engineering. Uh, we should be able to make a flux block, but we do need to make some of those. What are we missing? Oh, eyes of ender. That's easy to make. Okay. So we've got that. Let's go ahead, make this block up here so that we can go ahead and make some more. We're going to try with four stacks, see what happens. All right, so look this way. One, two, three, four. Obsidian. And it worked. Perfect. Yep, we got four of those. Awesome. 
So there's really no way to automate that. However, when we when we ever need any more, we really won't have to worry too too much about it. All right, so that's all in there. Um, receives energy from adjacent blocks, passively adding energy to your flux network. Okay, so these we're gonna need to make three of these guys. These are gonna go back on, on the back of our reactor. Now these will give power. All right. I'm actually really nervous because we have a lot of these guys everywhere. Uh, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just switch one over. Um, yeah, we're gonna, <gasps> I need to really not use this. We're gonna break you here. Actually, if we use that pickaxe here, would this be good? Yes, it would. Okay. Break this guy. Adding it to the flux network. Okay. So here we go. Setting this up. Please select the network. Create new network. We... We're going to call this one... Turtle Power. Uh, not encrypted. Public. Yeah. All right. So this isn't currently on, but it's not filling this up. Does it need to be connected to a cable? That'd be really lame if that was the case. You can set it to wireless charge things. That's pretty neat. Okay. So this is theoretically, let's see. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can give power to something then through the network. All right, breaking that. All right, it's actually working. Let's check this guy down here. Yep, definitely working. Yeah, I mean, that's working. Okay, so this thing is responsible for powering our network then. Take a look here. We're only using about 200 FE per tick. Not too bad. Okay, so we got our first item switched over to this. Very good. It's going to take us a little bit of time to kind of wean these out. I'm going to leave one of them on here just for a little bit of time until we can kind of adjust to it. Uh, but what this means, though, is that these are going to be able to handle the power from our new system. Uh, our new system, I mean... The, the bigger power guys. Okay. What am I even talking about? I mean, the bigger, the better reactors. That's what I meant to, to say. 
Okay, so let's look into upgrading these guys from power. All right, so we're going to go just to the hardened reactors for each of these guys. It's going to be our next step. Uh, we need to make this energized steel from power. Now, to do that, we're going to need an energizing orb and some energizing rods. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult to make. We're going to go ahead and grab some cable from mechanism here. We're going to try to upgrade it to our second tier. Yep, we sure can. Perfect. All right, so we have these guys. These, these transfer quite a bit of power. Let's go ahead and see. We need everything. That is okay. We're going to make a total of four. Then we just need, yep, one of these guys. Perfect. All righty. We need to go back here real quick. All right, we got a flex point. Perfect. All right, so we're going to do a very, very temporary setup over here. And this guy is going to be in the middle. Shouldn't risk, This doesn't take any power, uh, but it is nice to have it here. Uh, but these guys will take power. Okay, so each of these guys has power now. Perfect. They are receiving power. Wow, look at all that. All right, so whatever we put in there is going to be good to go. Now, to, whoop, to make these guys, we need to put iron and gold in. Seems pretty simple. Iron and gold. Except this is a little manual. Ooh, we got a progress at the bottom now. Perfect. That's amazing. Bam. Dunsky. So what we're going to want to go ahead and do is upgrade these guys because uh, this is the these guys are the limit at which at which we can go ahead and make this at. Uh, so the, the faster we upgrade these guys, the, the faster this is going to go along. So what we can do is upgrade these several tiers and then uh, kind of work on everything else after that so that we can do that, I guess. Um, so we made the starter ones. Yeah, after this is done, we're going to go ahead and upgrade these right away. Okay. Now, we should be able to upgrade a few of them up two or yeah two tiers uh, but these are just the simple starter ones i didn't realize that you can we can make the basic ones up above this already all right so we got these guys upgraded as you can see oh not these guys um you need to hit recipe on them uh, it just takes the the starter one and then basic capacitor very 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 easy to craft uh, so we're just going to place each of these guys down here and if you remember each of these guys had a limit of 10k we're, we've already done that times 10 so these guys are getting they're gonna have 100k on like hand i guess so we're gonna go ahead and see how fast we can do this one now all right as you can see that's a much much quicker uh, so the goal is to upgrade these guys first and then upgrade the reactor so i'm gonna go along here upgrade each of these guys up to the hardened tier and then the tier after that and then we'll be back all right, let's go ahead and get these guys upgraded here. I didn't think I was going to do it on camera with you guys, but I decided I kind of wanted to because you guys might want to do this yourselves. Uh, so, bam, there we go. We might run out of, of this guy here. Kind of expecting to. Dang, we still have plenty more. Perfect. So, I might end up turning this into more of a permanent solution for this because I think it fits it really well. And we can still move it one more block this way, and it'll be okay, but it'll give us room over here. So, 
Yeah, I'm probably going to have two of these setups going because these look pretty good, not going to lie. But anyway, these ones now store 250K. So let's test out how quick this is now. Man, it's done. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So I'm going to make a bunch more of these, and then we're going to go up to the next tier for, for these guys, which I do believe, yeah, is the blazing capacitor. Uh, hit A. Um, so we need these blazing crystals, which is one blaze rod. So this one is going to be much easier because we kind of set up a blaze farm. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of blaze. Blaze rods. Perfect. So this one is a little less involved. All I'm going to do is just kind of click it here. Ooh, that's going to take a while. Okay, so I'm going to do this for a bit. I need a total of 32 of these, and then we'll make the next tier. All right, guys, so I accidentally went ahead and made these uh, blazing energizing rods. I, I forgot to hit record. I'm sorry. So these are, the, the I think, the third tier then. So we got the starter, the basic, or... We got the starter, the basic, the hardened, and then the blaze. So these are actually tier four. Uh, now, if we do this, as you can see it's pretty quick, though these aren't charged up all the way. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and test out the uh, the first one here. That's pretty instant. So I'm not sure of a way to automate this now. I believe I might be able to do it through XNet. Oops. Yeah, there we go. So if you want to get an item out of here, by the way, you just click it with an empty hand. So yeah, this is working pretty well, though I would really love to automate it. I'm going to end up punching it into the ground here once we upgrade these to the max tier energy cables. Or we might just put flux points under each one of them, which might end up working because we do have a lot of ender pearls and obsidian now, so it's not that really expensive. So we may end up just putting them, putting them under there. Uh, but yeah, now I'm making a bunch of these for our reactors that we're going to be making. I'm uh, going to be starting off with the, the one that we did earlier today. In this episode, we're going to be upgrading that one to the hardened tier. Uh, we're just going to do the hardened tier across all three of them. Uh, we're not going to do anything too crazy. All right, guys. So if you're wondering, we actually don't need to tear down the, the other uh, quarry, or not quarry, the other reactor. Uh, we just simply need to go ahead and make these upgrades which is a little crazy that you don't need to, you know, use the old one to make the new one, but I'm not I'm not judging. I'm a big fan of that. So, let's go ahead and make these bad boys up here. We need to make a bunch of these guys that should suffice. Yep, sure does. All right, so we got 12 of those dudes. Uh Let's grab a bucket so we're not wasting all of our uranite. And then we'll bring in some water. All right, so I'm going to break this guy here. Bam. All right, here is our hardened reactor. Bam, there he is. Perfect. Water in. Oop. Water in right away. And how much power are we making? 12K. Doubling the power. 13K. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is perfect. 10 million FE stored. Oh, yes. This is exactly what we needed, everyone. Look at all that power. That's amazing. Let's work on the other tiers as well. All right, so it looks like we're going to need just a bit more iron and gold. So I'm going to go back over there. That's good. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade these bad boys as well. I totally forgot the bucket again. You can actually take the pow or the, the bucket of water out of the, the reactor before you disassemble it. So we're going to do that. Uh, but for... Th oh, that's not it. But for this guy here... All right, water in, auto mode, auto mode, perfect. That one's generating 13K, so we're going to take the water out, break this guy, and then place the much better one. 
All right, now this guy's generating that auto power. Look at that, guys. We have the hardened guy. So let's see, 13 times th three is 39,000 RF per tick is being generated now. So we can upgrade our system to pretty much whatever we want. Yes, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you guys did enjoy, please do make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But, guys, it's been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.